Hey, welcome back everyone. For today's workout, we're gonna be doing some cycling and some dumbbell work. We got two combos with the dumbbells, upper body focus and lower body focus. We're gonna try to hit as many major muscle groups as possible. And then we're going to go into two blocks, a hill climb block and then a Tabata, I'm sorry, not a Tabata sprint block, but a sprint block that's gonna be 30 seconds of sprinting followed by 30 second recovery period. So I'll reiterate and explain uh, what each block and what each dumbbell combo will be once we get there. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna hop on our bikes and we're gonna begin with one minute just at a nice basic pace. All right, so go ahead, get strapped in nice and secure, get moving, nice and moderate. Face, moderate resistance, waking up our legs, getting our heart rate going. Push it as fast as you feel comfortable doing, but again, not quite a full sprint right now. Again, just going for a minute, nice and smooth. After this, do a nice hill climb off the saddle, increase our resistance, get our climbing legs working, and we'll finish with a nice little quick burst of speed for about a minute. After that, we're gonna hop off and do some dynamic warm-up movements to prep our muscles for the dumbbell work. All right, add some tension, let's go into our climb. One minute. Keep a nice rhythm. Just feel that tension build a little bit more through your thighs and your glutes and hams. Nice, easy, comfortable breathing. Not too heavy on our handlebars. Keep those hips back over your saddle. about 30 more seconds and we're going to go into our one minute up tempo for the last minute of the warm up on the cycle bike. So we're going to hop off and do some floor work, body weight movements. Alright, here we go, three, two, one, decrease tension. Pick up the pace. Try to get up to 100 plus cadence. Flat resistance. Hold it steady. Get up to 110. 110 RPMs. Start to breathe hard. All right, here we go. Heart rate's climbing. Starting to perspire a little bit. 15 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right. Clear it up. Side to the floor. Two dynamic form of movement. So first one, we're gonna do forward lunge with a twist. Down, rotate. Switch sides, down, rotate. All right, got 30 seconds left. Let's go. Nice and smooth. Nice balanced lunge. Switch sides. The reason we're doing lunge movement is because we got some lunges coming up. The reason we're doing the torso movement is going to wake up our, score, our core and our spine, get them ready to handle a little bit of anti rotation when we do part of our upper body move. All right, so next one plank push ups. 30 seconds, 
hands on the ground, down to a plank, back up, switching your pushing arm. So right now we're doing right arm up, and then left arm up. Right arm up, left arm up. Okay, keep going. Right arm, left arm, right arm, oh, left arm, <laughs> right arm, and left arm. All right, Woo. great job. All right, the so first dumbbell combo, we're gonna be doing alternating forward lunges. Remember, I'm doing the endurance version, so it's gonna be two sets, 15 reps on each leg. Then we're gonna do some deadlifts. So let's start with the forward lunges. So it's 30 reps total, because we're doing 15 on each side. Grab your dumbbells. Keep your right by your hips. Do that upward posture. Take a step forward. Push them back hard. That's one. Two. Three. That's four. Five. Keep going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Two. Five more, you got this. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Last one, here we go. Five. And five, all right. Woo. RDLs, remember, not a full deadlift. Knees bend, arms straight, chest up, front back, pushing the hips back, stretching the hamstrings, hip thrust, back up, keep the glutes tight. One, two, three, remember don't have to go too far, back, four, back is flat, five, Feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Drive it back up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Last two. All right, circuit form, keeping up our movement, right back into the lunges, here we go. Last set of lunges, you got this. Last one. Come on, push back hard. Whew. All right, right into our RDLs. Second set, 15 reps, knees bent, hips back.
Deep breath. Exhale. Almost there. Let's go. Five more. Finishing lower body. Last one. All right. Dumbbells there. Back on our bike. Hill climbs. Coming up. So we got two two minute hill climbs. Once you get settled, let's go ahead and get started with the first hill climb. Right into it. Find your gear. Nice and heavy on the legs. Two minutes start. Off the saddle. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Climbing that heavy hill. Woo. Keeping our cadence at 60 or slightly higher. Just want to feel that heavy tension. This is a make it a big hill for yourself. Come on. So after this hill, you can take a minute, recover, and then we're going to go for it. Two more minute hill climb. Trying to get that bigger hill. So increasing that resistance to near, near maximum, whatever you can handle. Pushing yourself as hard as you can. Two minutes. Keep breathing. Chest up. Shoulders back and down. Nice relaxed hill climb. Putting power in those pedals. One more minute on this first climb. Let's go. If you're not comfortable climbing off the saddle, you can go ahead and take a seat. Keep that resistance the same. Let's go. Let's finish this first one. Nice and smooth. 30 seconds left. And we'll have a one minute recovery time period. Let's go, let's go. Push it. Keep that pace up. 60 plus RPMs. If you don't have a cadence monitor, just match my pace. All right, here we go. In four, three, two, and one. All right, let's reduce that tension. Bring it down. Woo! Clear it out. Get some water, towel off if you need to. Take your heart rate. Woo. Second and final hill climb for this workout. So, catch your breath. And get ready to push it one more time. One more hill. Remember, we want to be at or higher resistance for the second hill. So really try to push yourself. Even if it's just a little bit more tension, Try to increase. Give it all you got. So last hill climb for the day. You can do it. 10 seconds. Get ready. Start adding that tension. Let's get right back up to where you left off. And then a little bit more. Here we go. Up. Same pace. Higher resistance. Let's go. You got this. Focus in. Dig deep. Press through each pedal stroke. Let's go. Control your breathing. Get that air in. All right. I'm going to throw a little bit more intensity. So this final minute, 
Okay, if you haven't done so already, add a little bit more tension. If you went back down, you better increase it some more. Let's go. It's our last minute. Take it home. Last climb. Let's reach that pinnacle. Let's go. All the way to the top. Come on, drive. Let's keep that pace up. Stay on me. Thirty seconds left. Woo. Sweats for it now. Let's go. Come on. Then it's strong, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, reduce tension. Clear it up. One minute of recovery. Then we're gonna go back off our bikes, back to the dumbbells. Our combo number two, upper body focus. We're gonna be doing some renegade rows and push-ups with a bicep curl and overhead press. So two separate exercises, 15 reps on each, two sets. After that, back to our bikes. And we're gonna finish with those 30, 30 sprints, 30 second sprint, 30 second recovery. We're gonna do that five times and then we'll stretch it out. You guys are doing great. More than halfway done. Let's keep it going. All right, let's hop off. Yeah. All right, let's grab those dumbbells. Go right into it. Dumbbells on the ground. Make sure you have enough room. We're gonna be doing that push up first, followed by plank hold, rowing on each side. Every time you finish a row on each side, that's one rep. We're gonna do 15 of those. After that, coming up, curl, press, 15, rest for a little bit, 30 seconds. I'm sorry, no rest. <laughs> Almost gave you a little freebie there. No rest, right into it. Let's just get it done. All right, here we go. So 15 reps, push up, one, two, 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 that's five. burning. Ah. 
Last two. Man, these are sneaky hard. Killer combo here. Oh man. All right. If you can, let's go. Right back into set two. You need to take a break. Do it. And then finish up. So pause that video. You got 15 of each one. And then jump right into it. All right, here we go. Woo. Oh, feet are offset. That's okay. Pushing ourselves. Ah. Let's get through it. Five more. Ah. Deep breaths. There we go. Back to our bikes. Five 30 second sprints. Tighten up the no bells. We got this. Stop. Take 30 seconds. Remember, we decreased our resistance after our hill climbs. Let's keep our resistance low. Trying to go max pace. Five more minutes of work. You can do this. Let's crank up that pace. Full speed. Comfortable position. Five rounds. 30 seconds. Max effort, 30 seconds, recovery. Oh, here we go. Phew. Starting it in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Push, fast pace, 
120, 125. Three, two, one. Oh, reduce. Sorry, <laughs> don't have to reduce. Slow down. Keep that head up. Get that air in. Get refocused. Two deep breaths. Round two coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 120 plus. Push, push. Three, two, one. Cycle down. Phew. Ah, two down, three to go. Oh, let's go. Stay with me, we're almost there. After this, you gotta stretch it out. Deep breaths. Keep that pace up. I know it's tempting to let it lag. Let's go. Let's develop that speed. Fast pace. Three, two, one, go. Third round. 125 plus. Let's go. Sweat pouring. Parks racing. Let's go. Come on. Stay strong. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Phew, three down. Oh. Two more to go. Come on, focus in. We got four stretches after this. Oh man, you can make it. It's two more minutes of work. Let's go. Round four, three, two, one, push. One twenty plus. Let's go. Keep up. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Phew. One more. You guys made it. Uh, let's empty the tank on this one. Last 30 spe second max out interval. Speed, maximum pace. Give me as fast as you can go. Push that monitor to the limit. Push those feet to the limit. Stay safe. Use the emergency brake if you get out of control. Let's go, let's finish it up. Three, two, one, push. Let's go, come on, finish with me. One thirty plus, come on, push your pace. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, woo -wee. Give it a break. Uh, dismount. Great job today. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. Got four stretches to do. First one, stretch out that back. Grab your handlebars. Just gonna hold nice and easy. Let's do off to the side. Hips back. Gentle stretch. Oh. Don't pull on your bike. Don't want it to pull over. <laughs> Just kind of let those lats relax. Gonna keep that chest down. Whew. Straighten those legs. Do a little hamstring stretch in there too. Deep breaths. Relax. 30 seconds here. 
Great work today, everyone. You guys killed it. And that upper body combo was tough. And relax. All right. Hamstring stretch. Going down. Knees bent. More strength. It's up to you. Hang down. Hold it. 30 seconds. Stance, you're gonna lay, put your right armpit towards the ground, bend your left elbow, and just hold that position right there. So you're gonna get a good stretch through your chest, a little bit through the anterior part of your shoulder. Nice and easy hold right there. Set your hips back, remember armpit down, bend that opposite elbow, just hold that position right there. So we're gonna go for a few more seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Alright, the opposite side, right arm underneath your shoulder, left arm straight, bending your right arm, armpit to the ground, hold it. Two more seconds. Last one on the back. Woo. Glute stretch. Right leg over left. Grab your knee. Pull gently back. Nice and gentle stretch through the glute. Deep breaths in. Exhale. Add a little bit more pull to that knee. Gonna hold here 30 seconds. Then we're gonna switch sides. Left over right, cover that knee, pull gently. Want to pull that knee across your body slightly towards your opposite shoulder. So a nice stretch going through the glute. 30 seconds. today. Man, that was a killer one. Um, if you need more stretching, go ahead and go through those stretches again up to three or four times. That would be perfect. Um, this workout was made to be a standalone workout, so if you liked those dumbbell movements and you enjoyed the cardio we did on the bike, you can do those up to, I'd say, three times per week on non-consecutive days. You can get a nice little program with just that workout. It's about 30 minutes long with some stretching and warm-up. And that uh, gives you a little bit of everything. So should be on your way. Come back next time for more great.